Hi, I'm Preston in sales here at Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I'm going to talk to you about traction control, how you can turn it on and off, and how it can benefit you. Chances are you've seen the traction control button on either your car, truck, SUV. It's on all makes, models, and brands. You can find it on this Toyota Camry right here. You can find it on a lot of trucks, just like this Tacoma or Forerunner, maybe Tundra, Sequoia, or Land Cruiser as well. Traction control button. Is right here on the forerunner the traction control button is in a different position it's up here right near the a track and downhill assist control button you just depress the button and that turns it off and the highlanders button is in the center console i'm talking about traction control today because it's a very important safety feature that's on all the toyota models what it does is it prevents your drive wheels from slipping in rain snow ice or mud. Anytime you have loss of traction on your drive wheels, you have loss of handling and performance in the vehicle. If this wheel started slipping while we're cornering, accelerating on slippery roads, what's gonna happen is the brake is gonna activate and engine output is gonna be decreased to this wheel. So what happens if you turn it off? It's an important safety feature, isn't it? Why in the world would you do that? Now think about a time if you've ever been stuck in snow, mud, or even on ice in those icy days. If you apply brake pressure to the wheel, it's just gonna sit there. What you wanna do is rock it back and forth. I'm sure you've done that before. Now imagine you're on a long, steep driveway or a hill and also put ice on that. Now when you're going up that, you don't wanna brake at all. You wanna maintain momentum driving up that. Now if you're a lot like me, when it just snowed or if there's some ice on the ground, I like to get in a parking lot, have a lot of fun, turn that button off and get in there and do some donuts and turn that vehicle around and see what I can do. So if you wanna turn it off on your car, first you need to find the button, depress it, and then you're gonna get a notification on the screen. This Highlander tells you traction control turned off. In some vehicles, you're gonna have a track light that'll be on. So you can also turn off vehicle stability control. That helps with understeer and oversteer. For example, if it is rainy or icy, it's gonna help maintain traction around that corner. So if you wanna turn off vehicle stability control, you depress the same button for three seconds, and then up here, you're gonna get these indicators. What that means is your pre-collision system and vehicle stability control and traction control are all turned off at the same time. Thanks for watching, and please in the comments tell us how you would use the trash control button uh, if you turn it off, what situations you would use that for, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.